On Abu Qatada's first day outside prison in six years, he was driven home late last night. A Home Office minister was already in Jordan trying to secure the extremist cleric's deportation to that country. The minister met his opposite number in Amman this morning, who says progress is being made. We clarified to them the real situation of Abu Qatada in Jordan. He is not a convicted person by a conclusive judgment. These are judgments issued in absentia that will be cancelled upon his return to Jordan and he will go through a full fair trial on the Jordanian lands. But judges in Europe will need to be convinced that Abu Qatada's trial will not involve witnesses subject to torture. That may take time. And while he is under close supervision by police, London's mayor is complaining at the cost. £10,000 a week, he claims. It really is frustrating to see 60 officers a day uh, being dedicated to round-the-clock surveillance of, of Mr uh, Qatada, when uh, where I think we all want them is out on the streets. In Jordan, Abu Qatada's brother says they have spoken by phone. Among the many restrictions placed on him before his release was a ban on talking to anyone but his close family. And his family in Jordan say they would like his, to see him return there, but if that does happen, I don't think it's likely to happen uh, any time soon. You can expect Abu Qatada's legal team to oppose the government at every uh, step of the way. The first step for the Home Office, perhaps, will be to try to revoke his bail. Many people will find it extraordinary that he might be prepared to face jail again rather than face trial in Jordan. Others will say such is that country's human rights record. It's not surprising at all.